in the countryside right now, some people have uh, had access to some pretty cheap treated soybeans. And they're wanting to use those for the cover crops because the seed itself is cheap. They know how to utilize a herbicide program to control the weeds. And they feel that the uh, soybeans themselves will give them a lot of nitrogen so that it, it's beneficial. And to some degree it is beneficial, but what sometimes we don't think about is that uh, if that field was in soybeans last year, and we put soybeans out as a cover crop this year, then that's beans on beans in essence. And we know the negatives with that. If it was a cornfield last year and, and we put soybeans in it this year as a cover crop and we plan on putting soybeans in it next year, then our cash crop next year is going to be following beans. So that's a beans on beans scenario. Once again, something we usually advise against. So even though it may be a cheap cover crop, it could actually cost us yield and could end up costing us money in the long run. We're using something like an oat and radish combination if it's going to be corn the next year. We're using an overwintering cover crop ahead of soybeans for next year, like our bonus mix would help to break cycles and improve yield opportunities.